Welcome to mechanical tutorial. I am going to teach you different techniques in SOLIDWORKS for mechanical engineers. I am going to train you different modules like surface modeling, sheet metal and enclosure design, product design, plastic components design, reverse engineering and many more tips and tricks in SOLIDWORKS. Hi, today I am going to explain about a pivot bracket. Left side you can see the sheet metal component, right side the sheet metal drawing in folded state as well as flat pattern. So this is the component I am going to create now. So this is absolute for big beginners. Also, I am going to show you how to create drawing of uh, this component in folded state as well as flat pattern. So, let's start now. So now, I am going to create uh, the sheet metal component. So, select the front plane. So I am taking it as a 4 mm. So initially we have to create this base flange then create the edge flange. So we have to modify this sketch. You can see this it is in a triangular shape. So, we have to remove one of the line, and remove the constraint. Coincide this. Make it vertical. It's Twenty mm fillet. This is fifty five point three. So we can give the dimension as a reference. So it comes as a driven dimension. So this is just for reference. So we can apply the bracket. Say okay. So this is the flange. Now we have to edit this flange. So you can see it generates in a rectangular shape. So we have to edit this sketch once again. So delete this flange sketches and we have to show this sketch. So we have to unhide. Select these three lines and convert entity. So we get the this kind of sketch once again. See, so we should not mirror the flange if two flanges are symmetric. We have to use a similar sketch for generating this edge flange because when we apply mirror feature. from here we cannot edit the mirror mirror feature 
So if you want to modify this flange, the other flange, then we cannot modify. So mostly for symmetric flanges, we have to create two sketches of similar shape. So this is the best practice. Now select this face, go to simple hole. and select through all say okay now edit the whole feature so the whole diameter is 16 select this center point move towards this arc so you can see the center mark over here just place it on this and say ok. So, the hole has been created now. Now, we have to create this cutout. So, select this face or center plane that is right plane, go to sketch, here take center point arc. move towards circle offset reverse direction offset in reverse direction So, this is uh, 15 mm and this is also 15 mm. Select this edge offset, this is 10 mm. And we have to apply radius. So, this radius is around 20. So, we have to apply extruded cutout. So, through all both sides. See here. I am going to create cutout with this sketch, put a sheet metal, extruded cut. See here we can select blind and link to thickness, say ok. Here we have to create two more holes, so go to simple hole in the sheet metal module select this face. So, hole is uh, around 10 mm. So, after placing the hole we have to edit this sketch. So, we can uh, mirror this sketch.
So, distance between two holes is 75. It is same here. So, the component has been created now. See, we have to apply fillets. So, usually we think that we have to apply from the break corners, but this is applicable for sharp corners, not for cutouts. See, if I try to apply fillets uh, at this location, see it is selecting phase we cannot apply fillets over here so we have to go to regular fillet This is 5 mm. So, we have to select all the edges. So, we have to apply all the faces, all the edges. Say okay. So, final component is created now. So, next I am going to create the drawing. So, insert the model. So, we have to keep it in front plane, front view. So, here I have taken as uh, 1 is to 2. So, next I am going to place the right side view and top view. So, three views are sufficient and uh, once again I am going to place this model in isometric. So, for better visibility I am keeping in shaded form. Now, we have to apply the dimensions. It's, it's a 60 mm, then the whole dimension is 25. This is 30. So, whole dimension we can either we can uh, give it from here a top view is 55.3. So, here we have to keep maximum and this dimension is the reference dimension.
and we have to give the offset dimension of this cutout. move this uh, 55.3 downward so there is a intersection move it downward See here we have to provide this radius. So, outer radius is 8 mm. See, this is the reference dimension. This is also reference dimension. So, this is the drawing in four state. I am going to create for flat pattern. So, for flat pattern drawing we have to insert the model. So, it, we have to select the flat pattern. See here after selecting the flat pattern it is not showing as a flattened state. So, we have to open this configuration. So, we have to see whether it is in flattened state or not. So, it, it is flattened configuration. So, we have to go to sheet metal module and we have to select flatten. Now, we have to check with the default. Then once again we have to go to the drawing and we have to verify. So, if it is not highlighting we can go to properties and we can select default and flatten. See, we have to provide the ordinate dimension. So, we have to start from this point. Since it is an arc, it uh, does not select. See, when we select uh, this ordinate dimension, it does not select, it is selecting the center. So, in this condition, we have to create a point at this corner and this corner. So, these are the two dimensions of end corners. Now, we can apply dimension. Now, go to vertical ordinate, select this point. So, here we have a flat line. So, we can apply directly, we do not have to create the point. So, we have to drag near to the component, so that it is easy to read. So, we here we have two holes. So, select the hole dimensions and type 2 into x. 
see here. So wherever we see two features, we have to type two into x. Now we have to go to annotation. We have to apply the center marks. Always apply the center marks in the last. That is the best practice. So this is the final drawing. So I am going to share this drawing. Check the description below. So this is brief about uh, pivot bracket component in sheet metal module. Thanks for watching.